Now yesterday, after I stopped videoing, I uh, realized that this quarter inch bit was going in so easy. Well, I may as well just go in all the way so that this would fit in all the way. And that's what I did. And rather than using the crank on the end here, and that's why I quit actually, is because it was taking so long to turn this crank all the way in and all the way out, you know, to clear the flutes from with the uh, with the uh, cuttings. So what I did was I just shoved it in by hand and then just pushed and then went like this. Yeah, and that worked really good. So anyway, now this goes all the way in. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it in place right now and then put this back in the lathe and turn it down and uh, and if this is a little bit out I'll be able to bend it straight because I'll be able to see as the lathe is turning you know if this is wobbling and it will unless I'm really lucky well I swabbed out the hole there with uh, soapy water dried it out real good get all the oil and everything out and I burnished the outside of the shaft and uh, yeah, I think it should glue in there pretty good. It's uh, pretty much set right now. A little bit tacky. Anyway, I'll know once I get it back in the lathe, you know, how centered it is. You know, there's a feature that my wood lathe has that this lathe doesn't. And I really miss it. I'll bet you already know what it is. It's the wheel on the end here that you can turn, to turn the chuck. And I think that I should be able to easily make one. This uh, lathe has a one inch through hole, so if I make a, uh, turn down a piece of wood so there's a little over an inch and tapers down to a little under an inch, and uh, put some sort of a wheel on the end of it, wedge it into the through hole in the back here, I'll bet you that'd work. I'm gonna do that. Not today though. Now I'll be the first to admit a dial indicator is what I need. You know about five or six years ago I was a Canadian woodworker here in Winnipeg and I had one in my hand. Price was pretty good too and I didn't buy it. Then about a year or so ago I was in another place. I also had it in my hand. Even came with a nice magnetic base. Didn't buy it. I wish I had. I always wondered why did this lathe come with a number four Morris taper dead center. Now I know, it's for straightening stuff. And here's another high tech solution if you don't have a dial indicator. And don't laugh, it actually works. I've taken what you might call a parting tool and I've gone in just a little bit deeper, a little bit smaller than what I want this to end up to be. That way when I'm running my cutter along like this, it'll sort of fall into a hole and then I don't accidentally keep bumping up to the shoulder. Uh, in other words, I don't have to pay as much attention, <laughs> you know, as I should. Uh, anyway, we're about ready to turn this down now. Well, here we go with the first pass. I'll just uh, work the cutter in until it's just touching and then go across and see what happens. And it's at this point that I don't want to be dozing off. Eleven thirty. 
Okay, the inside of the brass tube is about 548 thou. Okay, 548, and right now this is 556. So that's a difference of about eight thousandths of an inch. So if I want a loose fit, I'm just going to have to adjust this thing for one thousandths of an inch. At least that's the plan. So okay, here we go. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand. Now my guess is that's not going to be enough, but uh, better not enough than too much because I can't put it back. Okay, I haven't tried this yet, but let's see. Oh boy, almost. You know, that's too tight, of course. I think I'll take another couple of thousands off. One thousand, two thousand. You know, I must be getting old. Battery's running down on the camera and I can't find the brass tube. It was in my shirt pocket. Okay. I'm gonna quit while the quitting's good. I would say that's perfect. Now I realize that this is not the chuck I'll be using this in most of the time. However, it'll give us an idea of how true it is. That's not too bad. Some of these are worse than that. I think I got a little bit of glue in there to remove yet. Yep, yeah, there is. Let's try this one. There's no glue on this one. Very nice. It's almost a perfect fit. This came in the mail today. And there's something heavy in there. I'll bet you it's my 37 64th inch drill bit. among other things. There it is. 3764th. Now why didn't I order that the first time? It's not a Brad point, but I'm Feels very, very sharp. It should do good. We'll be cutting with the corners anyway. Then we're going to be, uh, you know, doing pilot holes. So and here's the other kit. So now we're going to make two of these. and the tried and true Sierra button click. I like this kit by the way. 
pretty common and they make great gifts. <laughs>